deep water drilling makes critical demands on well bore and riser pressure control. These demands often exceed the standalone capabilities of open to atmosphere pressure control methods. In deep water, operators are challenged with high rig rates, increased cost associated with NPT, particularly circulating kicks out of the well and demanding safety standards. Deep water operations are further complicated with dynamically positioned drilling vessels. Of critical importance is riser gas handling. Weatherford's microflux control system directly addresses early kick detection and control and allows operators to perform riser gas handling in a safe and efficient manner. The microflux control system closes the loop and enables automated early kick loss detection and control, as well as background gas detection and control. Conventional methods of safety and pressure control remain unchanged. The microflux control system enables real-time data analysis and manipulation of the annular pressure profile to enhance drilling practices. In the pressurizable closed-loop MPD circulating system, flow variations as small as half a barrel are detected at the surface almost immediately. The microflux control system quickly identifies the fluctuation according to its unique signature or fingerprint. Influxes, losses, ballooning, breathing and other pressure events are clearly identifiable even with pumps off. To mitigate these events, the system rapidly actuates the microflux automated MPD choke manifold to reduce or increase annular back pressure. In the closed loop system, adjusting this choke immediately modifies the equivalent circulating density without any change to mud weight. The MPD equipment spread is comprised of several key components. The small footprint package is deployed with minimal modification to the rig or riser. The closed loop system requires a rotating control device, which contains and redirects annular flow. For riser applications, the API 16 RCD monogrammed model 7875 below tension ring RCD is installed as an integral part of the riser. Integration below the tension ring requires no modifications to the riser's telescoping slip joints or the rig's mud return system. Placement under the tension ring avoids tensioner lines as the dynamically positioned vessel rotates. With the RCD in place, drilling operations can easily convert between conventional or various MPD drilling methods. Downstream of the RCD is the microflux control system. The system monitors and analyzes very small wellbore fluctuations in real time using specialized software that applies proprietary algorithms to flow and pressure data. Coriolis mass flow meters are used to collect volumetric and mass flow data within the circulating system. This data is used in the microflux control system analysis. Based on system input, chokes are automatically controlled to create or release annular back pressure. Real-time data is displayed on the user-configurable microflux control system screen. The monitor displays a variety of information in simple plots that are easily interpreted. In the screen's left window, the blue plot indicates flow into the well. The red plot shows return flow out of the well. To the right, the blue plot shows density into the well. The red plot shows return density. The middle window shows a blue plot for stand pipe pressure and a black plot for surface back pressure. The right window shows a red plot for desired choke position and a green plot for actual choke position. The display data exhibit clear signatures that identify the event and determine the mitigation response. We will discuss the following events. Riser gas handling, cuttings gas, dissolved gas, ballooning and breathing, and early kick loss detection, influx and losses. Background gas presents a difficult challenge as it breaks out of circulated fluid. Formation gas is highly soluble in oil-based mud at high bottom hole pressures and temperatures. Background gas is a common occurrence as fluids and cuttings are circulated up the wellbore. As hydrostatic pressure reduces, the gas breaks out of solution. This breakout increases the pressure control risk in the riser above the BOP. The microflux control system distinguishes background gas from an influx of formation fluid. When gas reaches surface, the RCD safely diverts it through the microflux manifold to the rig's gas handling system. An advantage of the microflux control system is its ability to apply back pressure, minimizing the expansion of gas as it rises, 
Microflux control system signatures make whirlbore ballooning and breathing events easy and quick to identify. While circulating, a small loss occurs. Drilling continues until a connection needs to be made. When the pumps are stopped, a normal connection would show flow out of the well dropping quickly to zero. In this case, wellbore breathing occurs so flow out of the well gradually converges to zero. This convergence of trend line clearly distinguishes breathing from a kick. Once the connection is made, pumps are turned on to re-establish circulation. Ballooning will occur unless measures are taken to remediate. Influxes and losses also exhibit unique signatures that are valuable in early kick loss detection. The microflux control system enhances safety and efficiency by minimizing influxes and losses. In this example, drilling is underway using auto mode to maintain constant bottom hole pressure. The onset of an influx is detected by the system as outflow increases relative to the inflow. As the trend persists, the choke is automatically actuated to apply annular surface back pressure. This back pressure increases the equivalent mud weight to control the influx and restoring mass balance. Subsequently, the minimized influx is circulated out of the wellbore. The signature for a loss is equally apparent. Initially, the formation holds the mud, as mass flow in and out of the wellbore remains in balance. But ultimately, the hydrostatic mud weight plus applied surface back pressure overcomes the formation and losses occur. This is indicated by reduced flow out of the well. In response, the system automatically trims open the choke to relieve surface back pressure and equivalent mud weight, stopping losses and restoring mass balance. The MPD system enhances but does not interfere with the rig's conventional well control equipment. Should pressures exceed the riser or MPD specifications, BOP and MUD systems function normally to mitigate the event. But with the microflux control system in place, conventional well control measures are enhanced. The procedures greatly benefit from better information on downhole pressure conditions and from fast detection and analysis.